What happens when your choke won't choke anymore? Today guys, we're fixing a broken choke cable on Ron Burgundy here. Hey everybody, what's going on? I'm Mike Barker. Thank you so much for tuning in to another one of these videos. Today, yes, we're working on Ron Burgundy. We're fixing a broken choke cable, but there's a catch here. If you'll remember, Ron is a 1975 Honda CB750K that's using a 1977 set of carburetors, exhaust, engine, basically all of the things that make the engine go suck, squish, bang, blow, and get you down the road. Because of this, this video is gonna look a little bit different than if you're trying to do this on a 1977 or a 1978 Honda CB750. If you have a Honda CB750K prior to 1977, none of this really applies to you because you don't have a choke cable. So here's what we are working with today. I've removed the choke cable attachment, well, the choke cable plunger here from this bracket. So this nut threads on here and tightens up to hold the plunger all in place. But what you can't see, it's broke. Sheared right off. Somebody probably over tightened this and the plastic is just old, fatigued, crappy plastic that finally gave up the ghost. So I've got a factory replacement Motion Pro cable, it's 10 bucks for new cable. Let's see what it takes to get this thing installed. And of course, what does it seem that I always have to do first when working on these old bikes? Pull the tank off. I've temporarily reinstalled this just to show you how to take it apart. So what happens is there's a big nut on the back side of this and you just turn that off. You might need a wrench to do it. I didn't, your mileage may vary. Once the nut is down past the sleeve of the cable, you just kind of pull the threaded section out of the half moon, slide it all out. Now, like I mentioned before, this is a 1975 Honda CB750K with the carburation engine and exhaust from a 77, 78. It's a bit cobbled together, so this is not going to be exactly like on your 77, 78 Honda CB750K, i.e. cable ties holding brackets on. Um, yeah, this is pretty straightforward though. Follow along, you'll get the gist. Now for me, it actually looks like this cable tie has lots of slack in it, so I'm probably just gonna undo this cable down at the other end and pull it all up through this and actually reuse this cable tie because I'm that cheap. For this next bit, I'm gonna move around to the other side of the bike to kind of show you where this choke cable routes to, routes to, goes to. What we have here, choke cable, choke cable, and goes way down inside here. And you can just kind of see there's a clasp or a little bracket. And this is a, a lovely, easily stripped Phillips head screw or a JIS screw, which it most likely was from a factory in Japan. So we're gonna go ahead, loosen this screw to undo this clamp. Loosened up. So a way easier way you could have done this is you could have taken the air box off. I'm not taking this off because I've done this once before. I know I can get the lug off the other end of the cable here, or the anchor off the other end of the choke cable, off of the lever that it's attached to down here. This is the screw that we just undid. Now, if we follow, barely see there's the choke cable right there. And this is the other end of the cable. This is what you're looking for. Now you can kind of make out that that cable runs down through this little metal bracket. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a combination of uh, pliers, screwdrivers, basically whatever the hell will do the job to get this out of this little uh, bracket. Ha, ah, that, was, that, was, that was way too easy. Will I be able to fish it back in there and get the new cable on is the question. Yeah, we'll find out. Before you get too far, just take note of where the cable went. So we went through this cable tie over here, through this factory, oh actually it's not even through the factory bracket, but maybe I'll put it back through there, maybe not. It has to go down right here onto this clamp to anchor into the choke linkage.
Ta-da! Oh yes, fresh parts. Gotta love putting stuff like this back on, right? Whoa, wait though, hold up. Stickers. You know what this means. Good stuff. I mean like, seriously though, who doesn't love getting stickers? I have a lot of them though. Is it possible to have too many of them? Does this look tacky? <sighs> back to the cables though, so. This is the cable that I took off. This is the cable I just got. They look a little bit different, not the end of the world. But here's the problem. If I hold them at this length, and keep that length to the end, oh, uh, adjuster, hmm, that's different. And um, the old cable is a lot longer than the new cable. The new cable being shorter than the old cable is actually a really good thing. Because what I did notice was when I was trying to use the choke, the old choke setup, when I pulled it all the way open, at least when I pulled the, the knob all the way open, when I pulled the knob, yeah, have fun with that one in the comments. Anyway, when I activated this mechanism, I found that the choke actually wouldn't open fully. So, shorter cable, probably a good thing. All right, back on the bike here. Just for right now, I'm going to actually install this end of the choke cable in the bracket. I'm not gonna tighten anything up though. This is more just to keep this from flopping around everywhere, it's being a pain in the ass. There we go. Can't go anywhere. I'm gonna go to the inside of the throttle cable. Make sure you don't kink these cables up either when you're installing these. I mean, the last thing you wanna do is kink up your brand new cable. This is gonna be the tricky bit. Oh, got it hooked in. Well, I think we're in business. Done. I don't know if you guys can see that. The lug at the end of the cable is engaged in the mechanism. Again, I've gotta really apologize. This is a very, very tricky area to try and show on a camera. It's just so far in there. Anyway, we've got it hooked now. Now we have to put the cable back into the little anchor mechanism here and tighten up that very, very stripped screw. I don't think I have anything that small, otherwise I would replace this, but I don't think I've got anything here in the shop. Maybe later on I'll run to the hardware store and get something to replace this. Or maybe I'll completely forget to do that and uh, not worry about this again for a long, long time. Again, do what I say, not what I do. The screw really should be changed. What you want to kind of do here though, is there's a metal, like a metal sleeve section right here. Kind of line that up in the center and then we'll use the adjuster that's further back on the cable to perfect this once we've got it all in place. This is a brand new cable and as such, I haven't had to adjust out anything here. If anything, it had a little bit of slack in it from the factory, so I tightened it up. And now, when I pull the plunger, whoop, I have just the right amount of slack, a little bit of slack here, just enough to activate, like start working the linkage. But when you pull on it, the linkage moves this far, then the choke opens. And that's maxed out right there. That's as far as I can pull this open. Don't forget to tighten up the cable. You don't have to get this zinging tight either. This is just plastic. Don't break it for crying out loud. That's just fine. Super! You know what though? I put the choke cable on the inside of the throttle cable. I'm not really liking that. It's, uh, it just seems a little unnatural. So I'm gonna go ahead, loosen this back up, loop it around the other way, put it back together. I'm not gonna show you guys that though. Okay, this I'm liking a lot more. The cables come down, they flow together nicely, both come across, go down where they need to. Looks awesome. Sweet, so we've got the cable back on now. I'm just gonna fire the tank back on. We'll skip all that, cause I mean, you guys have seen me install and remove a tank many, many times. If you need some instructions, I'll link a video up here.
So there you go, we got the choke cable fixed. It's time to move on to some other projects, but that's gonna be for another video. So in the next video, guys, we're gonna finish up a few final things on Project Ron Burgundy before I put them up for sale. Let me know in the comments down below, though, what do you think my next project should be? I mean, I'm gonna do a few more things on the green Honda over here. I kinda wanna build a bobber, but not out of a 70s Honda, at least not out of a 750. I just don't think they look right. Anyway, though, guys, thank you so much for tuning in again. I will check you in the next video.